we're gonna take them out of the spotlight. Even though I worked hard for this shit. Even though I spent seven years, I spent thousands of dollars traveling just for a guy to provoke me, throwing around slurs that he shouldn't have used. But you're gonna act like he was the superhero in the situation. So let me get started now. I'm gonna play a song in the background. And the first thing I wanna open up here is this. So, my own reason, right? Chicago Land Melee has decided that I am currently, I'm banned indefinitely, and they're saying, well, based on behavior, it could change and it could be reevaluated. However, I've decided that I'm not going to side with cucks. I'm not going to side with people who are rigging everything and keeping me out of the spotlight. Because let me tell you now, there's been history here. This guy, Andrew, unsure, whatever you want to call him, has never been really on good terms with me. He's never really been a friend to me. He's always been there to have this petty attitude, like he's the boss and that, you know, I'm not good enough and I'm not part of his circle. I'm not kissing his ass, so I don't deserve to be mentioned. And he's kept me off the PR before, by the way, but let's get to this. So now... This is a problem because other TOs, are, such as the guy that's running Apex, Veer, whatever his pronunciation is, has decided to side with Unsure. And Unsure has sided with Aaron, who was, who was in on theft because he did not refund me. And that guy did not care to look at the slurs that Justice has been using. Also, really quick. I want to talk about the fact that my doubles partner, Eggy, was being harassed. Um, especially the Saturday of Riptide. And Justice willingly followed him around and messed with him, followed him during his tournament sets. And he provoked him and he was shouting stuff during the, the sets when, uh, you know, Eggy was playing against Faust. And it was. Bracket this was a bracket set and you know, this is what you know the story that Eggy told me This is not him saying it. This is me saying it for him because I don't expect him To talk to unsure about this, but this is something that really happened and if they're saying that it didn't happen I'm telling you guys that they're hiding it. They're hiding the dirt They're hiding things and they're pinning it on me because they don't want it to be known and This is why I got banned so Justice was following Eggy and basically shouting stuff really loud behind them during the set. Like, beat that N-word's ass. And that's what he was saying. That he was telling the other guy that, right? He was telling the other guy, you know, Faust, to beat that N-word's ass. That's what he was saying. So, anyway. Now, let's go on. Because, what I want to show you guys here is that the same day of the incident, the same exact day of the incident, September 9th, Salt was basically laughing about the situation. And I said, look, I'm down to talk it out. If he really believes I meant something by it. But here's the thing, let me, let me just stop that real quick. Justice himself was adding LOL to the re to the reply of it when he replied to my clip the famous clip of me saying justice ain't shit he actually said oh you know this is racist lol so if you were actually offended and you felt that this was horrible and i was a piece of shit why would you think it's funny wouldn't you have taken a different response wouldn't you have said oh what the f is your problem dude you can't be doing that so instead he actually took the friendlier approach of, oh, you know, this is racist, LOL. But the community decided to, to take that, ride with it, and say, no Flux is a racist, he doesn't deserve to play anymore. So anyway, going back to this. So, who may be a friend of Justice, and is a friend of Bobby Big Balls, which is unrelated to the situation, but I'm going to talk about that, because a lot of people are friends with each other in the community, right? And when one thing goes wrong, it's like they start ghosting you and they don't want to talk to you anymore. They're afraid to talk to you. They're afraid to defend you. 
They're afraid to speak about publicly, but regardless, Salt has always been a good guy. He's always been an honorable person at heart. I know he has a good heart. I just know that he doesn't want to get involved. But he has hugged me in real life at Big House. He has said, look, I don't think you're racist. He has said that here. And regardless if he feels that I shouldn't be sharing anyone's DMs or whatever. Look, man, I need whatever I can to make myself look better in this situation. And the fact is, people don't want me there. Tio's like there and, and unsure, you know, Aaron, and so on and so on, all are siding with each other, you know, and it's not just them, it's the online Tio's. And the TMT guys, the salt mine guys, are all afraid, and they think, oh, well, we better just all play ball because no flux is, is a risk for us. But you need to hear the rest of the story because, look, man, Salt didn't want me banned. Salt didn't want it to go this direction. You could tell that on the first day, he understood that it was just something that they took and made, and they made it look bad. And you know that there was no track record of me ever being racist whatsoever. But what if I told you guys that Justice himself has used foul language and slurs in the past? And I hate to bring this up because you know what? I want to squash the beef, guys. I don't want this to continue anymore. But if people are going to ban me permanently in the shadows, and people are going to treat me like I'm not even human, then, well, all I could promise is that if people can hear me out on this, I will take the clip down. If people are willing to forgive me and l allowing me to compete again, not only I promise I'll take the clip down, I'll squash the beef with Justice. I'll shake his hand in person and everything. I literally will do everything I can to shut this down already. But I want you guys to give me a confirmation. I need someone higher up. I need Dark Gen X or someone who actually has some influence to assure me that this is going to be put behind us. And this is there's no more beef, no more tension. Because look, I don't want it to continue and escalate into more drama. But I am exposing the corruption within the community because you see, they don't know how to handle confrontation. They, they want to just block people and pull people out and declare me as a, a you know a risk. And they want to say that they want to use labels like racist when they don't have anything that's clear. Again, if it was a court case, you wouldn't have a clear case that it is an act of racism. You would have nothing because... Just because I shot it near a picture doesn't mean there was a connection. And I am saying it was an accident. I am saying that it was accidental entirely. There's no chance that I meant any harm by it. You know, it was just an innocent little thing related to the game. I actually just thought, you know what? Yeah, it's Harambe. You know, this is like, this is just Harambe. Like, we always use it for Riptide already. And I showed that in my previous video that we all already have honored Harambe. Because, simply, he is a relevant meme. There is no link, and if anyone's saying, Oh, you know, you know what you're doing, and this and that. No, like, you're the ones that are messed up in the head. You're the ones that are looking to start drama and compare someone's race to an animal. Because, you have no proof whatsoever that I made the link. Now, let me show you three examples of how that could be a link. If, if someone were to actually point with their finger while saying something like that, for example, if, if, if I were to point my finger at the poster or whatever while saying someone ain't shit and that person happened to be of that race, that is a fair example of it, you know, looking pretty clear. But that did not happen. To say, oh, you panned the camera it is not actually clear enough because Again, you're, you're trying to make a bridge. You're forming a bridge that wasn't there yet. There wasn't a bridge there. Just because it was something that appeared bad to you does not mean that there was any ill intentions there. People are just trying to take that and use that to get rid of a guy that they already vilified. Because simply, this community is so robotic and, and afraid to even talk about anything. Because they keep writing in new rules. Oh, you're not allowed to do this and that. And you know, regardless, they like to add in new rules whenever they want. But it was not within the rules anywhere in Riptide's uh, guidelines. It was not in the rules to say 
that you couldn't go buy the poster and mention somebody you know being shitty at the game there was no rule saying you can't do this so if they don't have proof that i violated the rules they didn't actually have a real reason to pull me out of the tournament they chose to pull me out of the tournament because they were afraid they didn't want to look into it they didn't care about my side and everyone else rode with it because simply they were looking to get rid of no foxes already so anyway moving forward look this is definitely dirt that i don't want to use but i don't care at this point because justice himself has not apologized to me and you guys treated him like a superhero so look, alright, this is years ago, but this is just one instance where he clearly was throwing around shit because he just was just mad at the world, right? So, oh yeah, well, he he assumed because he's black that he could just throw around shit and that on Twitter, everyone's always going to back him because that's the rules, right? The liberals are always going to back him because he fits the agenda. And apparently I don't even though I'm a minority and I've had it bad, but you guys are going to treat me like I'm the white man disrespecting someone who's black and that's just not the case man you know i'm literally spanish mixed yeah i am mixed with mexican but it has nothing to do with you know how you people are framing it to appear as you want it to look like i was trying to be a racist but this is not a matter of black versus white this is not a matter of anything racial to begin with he laughed about the fact you know, that I made the clip. He, he added LOL to it. He wasn't the one acting offended. You guys acted offended for him because you wanted to get rid of me. So anyway, look, I mean, a lot of these aren't that bad in the sense that, like, he just kind of, like, implying, like, oh, yeah, like, they're so privileged. Like, he's kind of just imp implying it. They're so privileged that, like, he might as well just, like, take a chance on it eventually and, like, just, you know, actually rob one of them. You know, this is kind of funny. I actually find it a little funny. So I don't give a shit because you know what? How ain't shit anymore after banning me. Anyway, this one. All right. Well, um, you know he's kind of blaming blaming shit on white people again. Uh, basically spreading COVID, <laughs> which is it's pretty foul. Um, and I, you know, I don't know what this is about. I don't know what he means by gimping me in bracket. I'm not sure if this is like implying something. Uh, he's, so now he's saying they're racist, by the way, right here. He's implying that they're being racist. Because uh, he's black and, you know, everything has to be about that. And that they're, they're rigging the brackets because of that, apparently. Alright, so let me show you that, you know what, in my last video, I didn't really bring this up. I did bring up the fact the sequence is in on it, partially. And I said that he didn't use much. And I actually forgot that he started it. I forgot that he actually did use it first. So he not only spelled it correctly, but he actually started it and he said it before Justice did. And he probably even told Justice, yeah, go ahead and call him Mutt too, because it's gonna be funny. He's gonna he's probably gonna react. So okay, so we see the secrets was in on it and he instigated a fight and he wanted to provoke me anyway. See I didn't really acknowledge him because you know he barely got any likes. Nobody really cares about his career i mean i beat his ass at low tide right you know watch the vod by the way but anyway uh so look i mean right after that justice also says it and you know i don't know what this is i don't know like if he was trying to act like he was cool with this picture or something uh regardless all i'm saying is that he threw shade by throwing that word in there and making fun of my height. And, you know, I don't know what my height has to do with the game. I don't know why he had to make it personal, but he chose to, right? He chose to. So anyway, why someone chooses to talk shit when they could just win in the game and, and walk away with the win? Look, even if you would have bragged, even if you would have been like, yeah, I just beat no fluxes, I wouldn't have cared. But he decided to actually, like... Do it in a foul way. So, what did I say? Has he been using foul language in the past? Well, what do you guys think? It looks like he has been, and for anyone to say, Oh, well, you know, it's fine for black people to shit on whites on Twitter. Well, I don't care if you feel that way. My point is that he has a track record of using slurs and also using foul language. 
So, with this combined with the much shit that he said, we see a track record of him instigating things. Anyway, let's let's move forward now. Okay, so now you get Aaron. Um, this is a Discord, and uh, this is the guy that decided to ban me from Riptide without hearing out all the details. He decided to take his side out of fear, by the way. Because he thought, well, I better side with the black band because he's always right. And he's always more important. You know, he's more important than the, the Spanish-Mexican guy that, you know, we don't feel bad for. So anyway, uh, you know, he uh, he promised me a refund, didn't he? You know? We see here that he said, I will send you a refund when I return home from the tournament. And then he threatened me by saying he would get the security involved if I went back in. So nobody had my back. I just stayed in the hotel. Did I feel shitty? Yeah, I felt shitty because everyone was harassing me. Everyone was harassing me. And I felt threatened that maybe even if I stepped into the water park at all, someone was going to jump my ass and they were going to believe that I was really a racist. So I stayed in the hotel. And I did my own thing. I didn't really comment that much anymore. I kind of just kept to myself and maybe a little... I talked to some people privately about it, but the fact is, he promised me a refund right here. And this was the same day of the incident, by the way. Stubborn knife. So, how long has it been, guys? Well, well over a month. Six weeks, probably. And he hasn't given me a refund yet. Which, so, he now he's lying. This is lying and this is theft, by the way. This is a TO who has lied. And decided to steal my money which I barely even have the means to, to get to these tournaments at all I'm not in a good situation to be traveling but for him to lie and for unsure to take his side and try to defend him on this is a bad move and let me tell you why because this is a racial war this is a racial thing that justice started so now I am implying that Aaron and Unsure are discriminating against my kind entirely because they don't care that Justice used slurs, they don't care that he treated me poorly, they don't care they treated Eggy poorly. They let all that shit happen and blow up and decided to pin it on me in the end. So could it be that Unsure is not mad enough to confront me? Could it be that Unsure could never beat me? And, and I would always embarrass him in front of his people in Chicago. Could it be that he's always had an insecurity and he's always wanted to get rid of me? I've always been the monster and his demon that he doesn't want it there anymore. Could it be that No Flux has got third place at Super Smash Con Fall Fest and then finally looked like the hero for a situation? And in and, and just that one t timeline, Unsure was treating me like I was the man. And then suddenly, when one person on Twitter decided that I was a villain and, and that I was offending abusers and this and that, Unsure no longer had my back. He was acting phony. I was removed from the PR for, other, for a lot of reasons. But the one time that I was in the PR, by the way, because of my really good performance at really at SmashCon Fall Fest and a couple locals, Unsure was really treating me like I was carrying the region, and he wasn't acting like a cuck at that point. He was actually treating me like a hero. He was treating me like I deserved the credit finally, which made up for the past where he rigged me from, you know, being on PRs. Going back to 2019 when he would have his boy pull me from the power rankings because they would favor someone like Tech Def, who you guys don't even know of, but I was top 15 in 2019, and some people know about this. And what happened is they decided that all of the panelists were going to pull me out, rig me out of the, the PR. And it's old news, but I am saying that Unsure's always had it out for me. He's always tried to ban me from Arcadians when I was like only ranked in Ohio off of technicality. This goes back really far, but Unsure never liked me. I always beat his ass in front of everyone. I always just had the raw skill to... To just make him feel like clearly he wasn't good enough. And look, if you want to keep fighting me on this, just know you're siding with a thief. You're siding with, uh, you know, Justice, who has clearly looked racist now. And he, and he 
is the one who instigates things on purpose because he believes he can pull the black card and somehow be the superhero and be white knighted by everyone. Look, man, you don't get to throw around slurs. You don't get to just be toxic just because of your, ba you know, your background or your skin color. If you're gonna bring this shit to the community, just know there is karma. There are consequences. And if you think that you're liberal, people are always gonna like rig everything for you. Eventually, you're all just gonna be down in the same pit hole together. And that's why all of you are in fear right now because simply, you know that you can only rig it until you can't anymore. And at some point. One of you is going to actually turn on each other. And I'm hoping that you guys finally understand that this is the man you're going to turn in. This is the man you're going to turn in. You're going to turn him in in the end. It's going to be Aaron in the end. I said it will be him. I said that Unsure would turn him in. I've told people that privately. And I don't give a shit if anyone thinks I'm afraid. Because Aaron is the criminal in the situation. And if he wants to take it to court with me. If he has the boss to do that. Go ahead and try it dude. Because I know you're not going to do shit. You're going to act like you're the big dog because you have money. But nobody cares about you, dude. You're invisible. Just because you have a little bit of money to throw these, like, shitty-ass majors. Budget-ass majors at best. Low tide, that's not even a real major. You know? That shit's, like, it's not even working out for you, dude. And anyway, Riptide, look, you couldn't even get Mango. You literally couldn't even get Mango. So get out of here with that garbage, dude. You want to act like... That shit was a real, you know, major when you're gonna rig everything and let all this corruption happen there. And you're gonna pin it on the only guy who gets vilified in your own region, huh? So whatever, man. I'm sure if you want to talk it out and you want all this shit to be squashed, you want me to stop doing these videos and you want me to put it behind me, I will do that. I will delete the clip, but you have to help me get unbanned from CLM and... You have to talk to the Apex TO because I've tried already. But I'm going to continue with this video. So look, this is from the past. This is 2019. I'm bringing this up now because look, this is a friend of Unsure. 2019, right? And he says, hey, no folks, just wanted to reach out and apologize if any of our previous actions I said or anything or did anything that may have been over the line or insulting. You know, over the line, he's referring to the PR issues that I had where they cut me and they didn't give me props, they didn't give me credit. And in that time, it really felt like something suspicious happened. Why was No Fluxes cut from the PR? This was in 2019. This wasn't political and this wasn't even about any like agenda. This was like the fact that I wasn't kissing Uncher's ass. I wasn't his boy. I was just showing up and beating people like are really you know i was beating people you know several other players at the time in my region who were pretty good and in the end they decide well let's just get rid of no fucks let's not honor him and let's put tech def on the pr instead when he wasn't even in the top 15 on true skill so they rigged it and this guy felt a little guilty and he felt like the right thing to do would be to tell me privately and i appreciate that man in fact, I'm saying this is a good guy. Because he at least, deep down, felt like it was messed up what happened. So you know what? Yeah, I do appreciate this this DM still. Uh, okay, so let's see. This is a one month, uh, a little bit after that. Like a month and a week after the incident of Riptide. And what we see is Justice once again stirring bullshit up, assuming that the broadcasters of some invitation on Texas had something against black people and, and were making fun of black people because Saul chose to play Black Falcon and they threw a label on here to, to show you that he was playing the color of Falcon, not because of his race, not because of his ethnic background, but Justice decided that he was going to use this as material and to somehow like talk up BLM and you know, whatever. He decided that he was going to make a little thing out of this when it really wasn't actually a thing. So if you guys want to say this isn't like a real offense, I agree. It's not a real offense. That's why I'm bringing it up. Justice has a tendency to, out of anger, use the card whenever he wants because he's not happy with his own life. He's looking to use this to get some kind of extra, you know, privilege out of it, which he's not even getting anyway. Like, bro, you're not even getting money for this shit. 
You're not even getting like real fame for this shit. Bro, they're just using you as a pawn in the games. They're literally just saying like, all right, like, yeah, we back you, man. We got your back. But they're not giving you money. They're not giving you fame. They're not giving you any chance to really make it in this community, dude. So who are you going to side with here? Are you going to side with the white privileged man, Aaron, who is stealing? Are you going to side with the you know, minority who's revealing the truth? Because the fact is, I was wrong. So you could decide to keep beefing at me or you could squash it with me. But it's your choice, man. Now, let me bring up Books, who's a Wisconsin TO. And you know what? This is not the whole conversation. And I'm not hiding the conversation. But... What I will show you is uh, these are a couple key things to point out. So I told books the mud thing was not cool. I'm gonna keep saying that because again, it is objective. Mud is objectively a slur. Whether you want to say that it's not a, a mean one, it's it's like a very basic one. It's not it's not on the same level as others. That's fine if you want to say that. It's it's a social opinion. But what I am saying is that it is objective that it's a slur. And I will show you a website that points to that. Because it's not just Urban Dictionary that's saying that it's a slur. There are several places that will acknowledge it. But, see, he's already using foul language here. He's already, like, throwing the F word. You know, he's like, I don't care who started it. And then he's saying the implications of your post were clear as day. So are you saying that every implication is true? Because that's what liberals seem to do, right? Everything is an implication to them and everything that's ruled as an implication is objectively true to them even though it's not feelings not fact so Implication Okay, what implication are you suggesting that I'm a racist because I made a clip Saying some guy ain't shit near Harambe does that mean I am a racist? Does that mean that I was trying to be racist? Or are you just pinning that on me because you didn't like me? Because it doesn't seem like you have anything clear. And if it was clear, how come I'm not nationally banned? If it was clear, how come I'm not globally banned? It seems like you guys don't have anything and you're just upset that you don't have more. So anyway, assumption. It is an assumption. Prove that I was... Prove that I compared his race to Ron, but you can't. And this is what pissed him off. This is what did it in. Because I said, prove it. And he says, and he says, all right. He, he actually agrees that it's not cool that he called me mutt. Which, okay, that helps my case. But then he's saying that I'm a racist asshole. So, okay. So now you're actually throwing a label on me. And you're insulting me at the same time. And now he's saying that if... If I were more of a decent person, people would listen to me. Right, right. Because everyone wants to play this. Everyone wants to believe in the scam, this illusion that I'm the bad guy and that I actually mean harm, apparently. Because according to these people, I'm actually a bad guy, even though in person they don't ever say shit to my face. In person, they don't ever suggest that I'm a threat. Why is it that at Big House, Joe Guy allowed me to go first? I mean, why is it at Big House, Salt was one to. Hug me in front of everyone. Salt was willing to um, talk it out with me in front of people. And even knew that, like, this whole thing's stupid, man. And, look, Salt did tell me face-to-face. -face, like, I'm glad you, you really didn't, like, give in, man. Because the fact is, dude, you got to hear out the whole side of the argument. Salt knows that this is all stupid shit blown. It's too exaggerated. Blown out of proportion. Like, nobody should be completely saying that, oh, yeah, you you're out because we rule it as a slur. We rule this as an offense. That's what they're doing for me. They're saying that I... They're saying that I did something that I didn't actually do. Right? Like... They're saying that I actually did the thing. But what I did only looked bad to them. To say that it is the thing is not true. And if you want me to say that I did compare him to the thing, that's not true because... I'm telling you guys, you need to stop doing that. You need to stop the behavior of, oh, it is a joke already. No, let that shit go. Stop bringing a joke up. Stop trying to make a comparison because you're the problem. So, look. All right, I bring up a valid point. Because he didn't apologize and people are giving him a free pass for his behavior. Aaron didn't care about that part. Um, 
So, I mean, Book's insulted me multiple times. He's not level ahead. He's not rational. He insulted me. Which I did not throw stuff... You know, what do you see me insulting him here? Do you see me throwing curse words, offending him? Do you see me throwing F-bombs and this and that? I didn't do that here, but he did. So, anyway... Uh, Dan, I actually brought up that I team with Salt at, at, uh, in a crew battle at Shine. And I just use this as a reference. Like, Salt was comfortable around me. He was comfortable around me. He, he didn't see any indication that I had a problem with his background. He didn't see that I was, you know, a threat in any single way. We were just playing and, you know, there was no problem. No one was making it about race, you know. So why is it that Justice made it about race? Is it because he's insecure about something? Is it because people just don't treat him like he's a big deal and he, he's looking for you know, some little extra way up? Because that's what I I get the impression that he's looking for a quick way up. But no flux has worked hard the genuine way. I didn't do anything that was a shortcut. You know? I didn't need liberals to to white knight me. But anyway. You know, I wouldn't want that anyway. But anyway. Uh so look, I mean I bring up a valid point that I really like I really got treated like shit here. And everyone left me to burn. Nobody cares about that part. Nobody's looking at my well being and the fact that I was left to burn. Everyone just left it like that and said, you know what, you effed up and you're a racist. Even though it's not ruled as that. It's socially ruled as that by them, but it's not objectively ruled as that. And again, in a court case, they would laugh. You know, people would be like, yeah, this is petty, like, let this shit go. Because in a court case, it would be defamation, and they would look in the wrong entirely for trying to sabotage my entire career. And also, Aaron, you know, owes me money anyway, so. Look, I mean, Unsure and Aaron are both in the wrong for siding on this thing. For for that, for the, for saying they would refund me when they didn't, Unsure is involved in that because he, he was co-running the event. He's trying to act like it. That he had nothing to do with anything there when you're literally running it, dude. You're literally letting Justice harass Aggie in, in the venue. You're literally ignoring the valid points that I was bringing up with Aaron. You didn't even give me a chance, dude. You didn't even give me a chance to go back into the venue and talk it out. I even told Aaron, look, I'll take the clip down, man, but you gotta let me back in, you know? And he said, oh, I can't guarantee you that, and you have to talk to Justice. And what did I do? I reached out to Justice the same night, and he ignored me. He didn't respond to my DMs, and everyone left me dry. So, this is Dark Gen X. I talked to him a little bit about it, and what I don't like about this whole thing is that, uh, basically, Dark Gen X, like, look, he's a good guy. I know that, like, as a middleman, he can negotiate things. He's, like, he's just simply there for the entertainment aspect. So I do appreciate that, like, he's not looking to, like, just use this to make fun of me and, and you know, label me as a racist, because he didn't do that, like a lot of people did. He didn't actually choose to harass me like other people did, which, by the way, nobody put a gun to anyone's head and forced you to harass me or ban me from anything. But let me continue. So, you know, when I actually mentioned that he used a slur, he said, but I don't think it's a slur. What do you mean you don't think it's a slur? I could show you that it is one. If you're saying that it isn't one, why do you get to decide if it's a slur or not? I'm not the one that's deciding for myself that it's a slur. I'm saying that I can refer to websites that are acknowledging it as a slur. And just because you guys are trying to white knight justice and say that he's innocent on it, doesn't mean he didn't use a slur. It doesn't mean he didn't use foul language. So if you want me to, to let it go, and you want me to put this behind me, I can. I will take the clip down if you allow me back in the community. And if you allow me to go to Apex and Chicago um, undoes the ban. Then I absolutely will take the clip down. And you, everyone can acknowledge it as an accident. And this is, this is the only thing that I can say is that it was an accident. It really was. What else do you want me to say? That's that's the most you're gonna get because that's what it is and that's the truth. Is that it was shot that way simply because I want to honor 
Harambe because Harambe is just a cool meme, dude. And, I, and if you guys want to know the whole story about Harambe, you can look him up. And I do feel bad about what happened to it. You know, people are going to say, like, a lot of stuff regarding that. People are always going to treat Harambe like he was just an animal. He wasn't more important than the baby in the situation. But if you know the whole context, you know it was a big deal back then. I'm not going to get into that right now. But I am saying that there's nothing wrong with honoring Harambe. I didn't do anything that compared to any man's race. You guys just happened to find a way to make it about that. And by the way, one point that I make valid, which I'll bring up a little more later, is that not everyone knew that Justice was black. Not everyone in the whole world knew this. If you guys are saying everyone in the whole world knew he was black when I made the clip, you're just wrong because I didn't say he was black. I didn't mention his race. And that helps my case a lot because to say that everyone was aware that he was black is not true. You know, as soon as he declared it as a racist thing, everyone rode with it and they just took advantage of that. But it doesn't mean that he was really offended, actually, because if he was offended, he wouldn't have laughed at it. He wouldn't have added LOL to it. Why did he add LOL to it if it was that offensive, dude? All right, fair point of mine. But anyway, look, I, I do think that Dark Janics, uh wanted me to apologize in some way and other people wanted me to but you're missing valid points that you're missing some valid points um people just don't want me there and i didn't receive an apology the money back and i got screwed in every way basically so why should i apologize and give everything that they want when i'm the one that got treated like shit I'm the one that got harassed. I'm the one that lost money. So that makes me a victim there. But, and in fact, it, within the Twitter clip, within the responses and the replies and all that, you can see that I was harassed. And it's still up, by the way, if you want to check it. All the people that were using foul language and treating me like shit and labeling me as a racist are still there. So that's why it's important to leave it up as evidence. But regardless, I said, look, we talked it over DMs. Um... He knows it wasn't racist. I'm talking about justice. We did talk over the DMs. We actually did. I'm not going to show them right now, but... Uh, at a certain point later on, after I made the first video, he hit me up. And he just said, like, yo, look, if you would have just apologized for it, then uh, it, it maybe could have been salvageable. But So it's like he's acting like it's only me in the wrong again. You want me to apologize and act like you did nothing? You didn't provoke me. You didn't use anything. What about the stuff you did, man? Just because everyone's white knight in you doesn't mean you didn't do anything wrong. So regardless, I don't... I'm not even saying Justice has to apologize, but if you're going to act like I'm the only one in the wrong and he's going to get off free, well, this is the problem we have here. Why is he getting off free and I get nothing? I get harassed, ridiculed. Yeah, Aaron steals money from me. Chicago, you know, just tries to erase me. All this happens to me, yet Justice walks away free after using dirty-ass language and, you know, just foul shit that he shouldn't even be throwing around anyway. So, look, Justice isn't a good guy, and if he was a good guy, then he would make a tweet right now saying, look, just let it go. He really he really just did it, you know, just uh, stupidity or ignorance, and that's it. You know, even if he wants to say that, even if you want to say... That it was out of ignorance or stupidity. I don't give a shit, man. But you know that it was an accident. Because there's no indication that I've ever treated anyone black in the community bad because of their skin color. There's no indication that I've ever been a threat to anyone black in the community. And you're making that shit up and you're just letting them ride with it. Because simply, I was already a threat competitively. I was really good at the game. And the fact is, dude, that nobody is trying to save my ass too because they know that. They know that I was already good enough. And it's easier to not play me. It's easier to have me gone, right? It's easier to get to the top when one less competitor is there. Regardless, though, let's move forward. Uh, and I am saying that Aaron deserves to take the fall for this shit. I am saying that Unsure should be pinning uh, Aaron. And you should stop siding with the guy. Just because he has money, just because he's helping run these tournaments, doesn't mean he's a good guy. So Unsure, you need to stop siding with him. Because you're being brainwashed. You're being suckered by him to believe that he's good and he's not good. You let him treat me like shit. You let him steal money. 
And you were definitely aware of the fact that Justice was going around harassing people. And if you're not aware, I'm telling you now that that did happen. He was following Eggy. He was doing that shit. And if you're going to act like nothing happened and you're going to say I'm lying about it, then you're just clearly in on it. So, alright, this is actually irrelevant. But, because it's funny to bring up now, I've decided to to just show it anyway. Um, you know, this is a... Uh, an old thing, maybe like sometime early in the year where uh, I was streaming and I think I actually made a diss track. You know, it was about K Word, you know, also known as Kage the Warrior. But uh, so I decided that I was gonna get on and like kind of imply that I made a diss track. I didn't really say anything else. And he actually he came in and he threatened me. He said, I'll ruin your name. If you don't money match me, I warned you, your rep is done. So are you the guy that got Scout to make the the tweet against me? Are you the guy that did it? Because it seems like someone put her up to it. And by the way, I don't want to talk too much about her because, look, it's, it's old news and I really, I did apologize to Scout. I don't want to show the whole document here. I don't want to reveal this right now, but... Look, if that person doesn't like me and thinks that I'm a threat, you have to know that I did actually write up a whole statement. I did apologize. And they have still decided to make foul tweets against me and still decided that I'm a bad guy and they're going to ride with the liberals and treat me like shit behind my back. But I did write that up. I did actually make a whole statement because she felt offended and someone probably did put her up to it. If it was K-Word, then, well, you're the one that's going to eat the karma. You're the one that's going to take the karma for that. And I'm hoping that it wasn't K-Word, because I have an idea who it was. I'm not going to reveal his name here. Anyway, let's move forward. All right, so this is Deer, the Apex TO, who has decided that he's going to white knight justice and prevent me from going to Apex. So, okay, you want to white knight him, right? You want to say I'm a racist based on what was apparently the implication? Um, I said no one was making a fuss. Let me actually zoom in a little bit more. Um, I said no one was making a fuss, to be honest. There there are things that we can mention before this, but this is important because right after I said this, he, like, starts posting these things to acknowledge that there's a comparison or a joke or history of it being used. Look, I don't care, dude. You gotta so the fact that you're bringing this up is not a good argument. Like, you, this doesn't actually prove that I had any malicious intent. This doesn't prove anything. This is you bringing up and acknowledging the thing that I'm telling you is bad to acknowledge. Stop bringing it up. I don't care that you're saying that they have been compared. I'm telling you that I didn't compare. I didn't compare him, or I didn't compare any black person to any animal. So you can't rule it as that. Just because you're mad, or just because other people are mad, doesn't mean you can rule it as that. So regardless, um, you know, uh, this is still part of the combo. Um, and, uh, You know, I said acknowledging it first the problem. Acknowledging it isn't wise. And I think that that's the best way to say it. Don't acknowledge the joke. Don't acknowledge the comparison. Stop bringing it up. We don't need that, that to be there. We don't need that comparison. People are stupid and they keep making it because they're either, maybe they're racist or maybe they like angering others. I didn't actually do it though. So and that's why I said. People need to stop making the comparison. And I didn't do it. So he's he's like saying understand the racing. Okay, but it's not that I don't understand. It's a joke that's been used. I'm saying I didn't do it. It was an accident. Everything that happened was an accident. And I can't change the past. All I could do is say that it was an accident. If you guys want me to feel bad and guilty about something that you declared as bad, that's not my problem. You can't declare it as bad if the, it wasn't malicious. The intention wasn't malicious. It was just me, you know, laughing about a game. And that was already a meme. Everyone knows that Harambe was already a meme. So if I would have shot that near a different animal, 
that it could have been there on the wall if it was like some random shit like an alligator or you know uh, some kind of bird you guys wouldn't have said the same thing about it obviously but you know some idiot decided to to force this shit onto me because they didn't want me there i'm not saying justice was you know the one that forced it isn't you know he was the one that provoked me and he's the one that kind of like led the community to believe that I was a racist he did throw the slur in there which you know he could have shut it down he could have said look guys this, he didn't really mean it that way it was just like you know he didn't really mean it that way so like don't don't like shit on him don't don't like the thing is he and I'm not even saying he encouraged the toxicity but he clearly let them treat me like shit and he knew what he was doing. He knew that they were going to ban me. And that's why he avoided me the whole Friday. He didn't try to talk to me. And Aaron was the one saying, oh, you got to work it out with him. How am I going to work it out with a guy that avoided me? You know? For anyone to say, oh, you should have taken the clip down by now. Okay, I'll take the clip down if you guys forgive me. But if you're going to say that I am a racist and you're going to say I'm not allowed. Well, why should I bother giving into any demands hear me out the clip has evidence of people treating me like shit people ruling it as that when it wasn't objective in a court case it wouldn't work so anyway you know look i mean i made a valid point that justice was not actually harmed by anything to for anyone to suggest that damage was done or harm was done you're wrong this is the false narrative that they use against Hacks at one point. That Hacks was somehow harming others. I don't I don't know where he harmed anyone. Was Leffen saying that he you know he was depressed and that he was, you know, me mentally damaged in any way? Was he saying that like he you know it's his well being was uh, you know being threatened? Um, if he was, then that's that's something you can refer to. But what I am telling you right now is that um, even with that case, Hacks himself pleaded guilty, and he said that he did do harm, which I, I don't agree with. Just because Hacks talked about like Yagami and you know some dictators doesn't mean that he actually was gonna do anything threatening. That he actually was gonna do harm. He pleaded guilty when nothing ever existed to begin with. Did he actually make a video that? This and that. Yeah, he did make a video. He made several. Did it seem bizarre? Yeah. But to say he meant anything malicious and he meant to harm people is definitely a false narrative. And you guys forced them to plead guilty because you harassed them. You made them feel like he was this nutcase, that he was mentally ill and he was a threat to everyone. You said that about him. You said that he was not mentally fit to be there. You provoked him and you harassed him and you made it worse. And you want to believe that you're the heroes for harassing him? Just like you're doing to me now? How is that wise? How is that good? How is harassing anyone a good thing? And also, who who points the gun to your head and says, Oh, you better ban so-and-so or else I'm going to shoot you. Or who points the gun to your head and says... You know what? You need to harass him now. You better join us. You better shut on him now. Or we're going to shoot you. Nobody forced you to harass anyone or ban anyone. So any TO that wants to be like, oh, I better just follow suit. You're giving in to fear. You're desperate to keep your little position. And which, by the way, I'd beat your ass in the game anyway because No Flux is a, just a better player. No Flux is just the Sigma Warlord. So you can't handle my cannon. And the fact is. You don't even want to take it to the game. You don't even want to allow me the chance to play anymore because you're too afraid of being embarrassed in front of everyone. Anyway. Uh, so, okay, acknowledging that what was wrong about it. What was wrong again? What's wrong about the fact... Uh, okay, is this about me saying he ain't shit? You want to say that's bad? That's a small-time offense, I guess. Um, but... If you want to say that I was racist, you're wrong. If you want to say that it looked racist, that's up for debate. That's a social argument. But I don't think that an apology is warranted based off a social opinion. And also, an apology at this point doesn't change the fact that liberals hate me. You're not going to get what you want 
by harassing me. You're not going to get what you want by trying to ban me. You want to put this, you know, you want to just bury the hatchet here. You want to put this all to the side and let it go. Sure, like I said, we can get to an agreement. I'll take the clip down. All I could do is say, look, guys, it was an accident. I really didn't mean it. I really didn't mean it to look that way, and that's all. That's that's speaking from my heart, and if people don't want to believe me, I can't do anything about that. I've tried. I've pleaded my case. I've shown you the facts. And for anyone who has watched this, for anyone that is wondering, what's going on with him? How come I don't see him anymore? How come he's not streaming anymore? Is he going to the tournaments like, you know, Apex or main stage? Well, I'm trying, man. Nobody's got my back. Nobody really cares about me and my well-being. Everyone wanted to treat Justice like he was a superhero and treat me like, you know, I wasn't even human, so. You know, people keep saying, that, like, stupid things, like, you know, that I, that I am racist and that it was, you know, based off their, that implication or whatever, that, you know, I knew what I was doing and I was purposely mocking him and I was purposely offending him. Why would I sabotage everything I work for? Think about that for a second. Why would I spend seven years playing a game just to throw it in the shitter, just to get rid, just to sabotage all my progress? Does that sound reasonable to you? Why would I spend seven years just to throw it all in the shitter out of nowhere? There's no chance that I meant anything bad by it. Everyone laughed, man. Deep down, people were laughing at that shit. Even Justice thought it was funny. To say that I was a racist because you guys just don't like me is stupid. I mean, come on, man. That shit was innocent looking. At best, you can say, oh, like, you know... Your weak little argument of panning the camera is not the same thing as pointing to the poster. It's not the same thing as saying the man's black. It's not the same thing as showing a picture of him and side by side showing it to the animal. So you have nothing here. You people are just looking to make it political because you're desperate for something. You're desperate for drama. But no flux is never backs down. No flux just can't back down. I'd rather lose everything. If it came down to it, I'll retire. I've said that before. And... I don't care. I care more about showing the truth. I care more about exposing shitty ass people that believe they can rig everything. You people don't know how the soul works and you'll never know how the soul works. So I'll never grant you the knowledge. But no flux is a bigger deal in Chicago. And with that being said, this video has been good. I hope that someone finds this useful. I hope that someone tries to Bring this more into light and uh, see to it that I really was framed. No Flux got framed. Not once, but twice. And the first person that slandered me got their apology and still has decided that I'm an evil piece of shit that deserves to be banned and has been stalking me and has been trying to clearly do everything they can to get rid of me. And even though I apologize, they don't care. So this is why apologies don't work, by the way. And if I have to refer you to it, if I have to show you it, I could. If you want to see the private statement, if you want to see the private apology, I do have it. You know what? Ask God for it, though. And if she says, oh, I don't have it, she's lying. And if they, if the, the words are twisted around, I'll be able to tell you it's a lie, too. Because I have the original document. And I know that that shit is old news. But I did try to clear it up with her. And I really know that people... People have been trying to frame me because simply I was a guy that came from nothing. I worked hard. I worked really hard to get to where I got to. And I had a brief moment where I had a breakthrough after SmashCon, after Toast video, and after everything that followed my, my stream getting hundreds of viewers. And the very moment it all went downhill was when you guys decided that I was defending canceled players that I don't even really have anything to do with. Stop pinning those people on me. I've never known those people. I've never met those people. If you want to show screenshots suggesting that I've been friends with them, this and that, it's not enough to say that I support their actions or any accusation against them. You know, I don't, I don't support those things. I don't want to get involved in those cases. And I simply can't rule those things as something that happened or not. Simply, I don't, 
think it's relevant because they're already gone. So stop picking on people that are already gone. It doesn't solve anything. Well, so I'm gonna end it with this. You guys say, oh, you know, Urban Database is, or Urban uh, Dictionary is not a real credible place. All right, well, let's let's use another one then, right? You know, the Urban Dictionary is just one place. So what about this place? So we got another place that actually has like a whole list of, you know, offenses. Uh, it's pretty brief, you know. It's pretty brief, but look, guys. I've been sincere here. You guys know that I'm the only one that could hold it down like this. I never back down. People are going to be like, oh, yeah, no flux is doubles down again. No shit. What did you think that was going to do? Did you really think that you're going to get this, you know, apology video acting like a cuck and acting like a beta boy pushover? Did you really think that you're going to finally get that just because you want to take away my little privileges? You want to try to strip me away from, you know, strip away my little rights to play a game. And people are going to say, oh, it's not a right. Okay, so if you, if you took away any top player's rights to compete at majors, are you going to tell me that they're going to be okay with that? They're not going to contest it. They're not going to see it as a right to compete. It is a right to compete at, at a major. And if you're going to strip it away because of a social you know, opinion and not because of a... Of a objective thing that it could be ruled in a system where it says this guy used a real offense he made a real offense he messed up if you can't do that then don't say that it is objective don't say that it's not a right because you're stripping me of things when you know you're doing that intentionally you're playing with a scam you're using the scam that i messed up and all the tos are playing ball because you're afraid of me but simply you know the corruption's there you know i'm right and well I suggest at least someone like Unsure to actually unban me. And Unsure, you want to unban me after this? Uh, that's the right move, actually. Siding with me instead of Aaron. And just as I actually am telling you to side with me, the Spanish Mexican guy, yes, side with me over the privileged white man that you've been taking side with because that man is a thief anyway. And if you want to keep siding with him. Well, you're not really benefiting, are you? He's not in, he's not, he doesn't have anything to offer you, dude. Aaron's not going to help you up. So, better to decide with the minority than to decide with the privileged guy who just isn't going to do shit for you and has just, ever, all of those people, by the way, that claim they care about BLM, don't really actually do anything to show it. Where's the money at? Where's the support at, Justice? Are they giving you any money to get to events? Are they actually throwing down for you so you can make it? Are they helping your situation? Just because they white knighted you on Twitter doesn't mean they really care about you, dude. They just use you as a pawn because simply they hated me and they could have used anyone within their agenda that fits the agenda. And they wanted you within it because simply they wanted to get rid of me. So you just got used by them. But if you really look into what I'm saying, don't side with Aaron. This guy's a thief. This guy doesn't try to take accountability for his own mistakes. Instead, he decides that he's going to get other TOs to corrupt it and try to get rid of me. So go ahead. Try to get me nationally banned. Try to get me globally banned. And if you guys fail over and over and over because you don't actually you know, have the courage to do it, and even if you do actually go through it and somehow make it happen, no flux is a bigger deal in the whole community. What I am saying is that if, even if it's a million to one odds, I'll drag this out forever. I'll take this one to the grave.